What is happening to the real estate market in 2022? The market has seen some crazy increases and it has also seen some large drops. Interest rates have been rising, inflation has been off the charts, the stock market has collapsed, and you need a second mortgage on your house to fill up your vehicle with gas. So what does it all mean for us as investors? In this video, I'll explain how we got to where we are today, what's about to come, and how you can prepare for the crazy opportunities that lay ahead. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share the best new product that came out this year and how it will benefit you. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. 2022 started off with a bang. The real estate market was still in a frenzy. Record low interest rates and low inventory coupled with a surging demand led to a serious seller's market. Properties for sale were seeing multiple offers, bidding wars, and firm no conditions offers. If you were selling a house, especially a single family dwelling at the start of 2022, life was good. And then when the Bank of Canada raised interest rates by 25 basis points in March, the real estate market started to shift. This was around the same time the record high inflation numbers started to come out, which put everyone on edge. Then in April, we saw another interest rate increase of 50 basis points or half a percentage, which really made investors and homeowners start to pay attention to what was going on. Suddenly homes were sitting on the market for weeks at a time with little or no showings and properties that were holding off offers would arrive at their offer date with not a single potential buyer. A classic example of where sellers expectations do not line up with the buyers. Because many investors were hoping to cash out on the high prices and that happened to align with the busiest real estate month of the year, the market was being flooded with inventory and demand was dropping. A recipe for lower real estate prices. The good news while all of this was going on in the resale market, the rental market was returning to pre-pandemic levels with higher rents and low vacancy. And then most recently at the beginning of June, interest rates went up again, another 50 basis points. At the same time that the real estate market was dropping, inflation numbers kept rising and the stock market crashed, wiping out years of gains for many investors. So what does it all mean and what can you expect for the remainder of 2022? First, interest rates will continue to rise, which will put pressure on many homeowners who have variable rate mortgages who were scraping by to qualify in the beginning. This could potentially lead to some defaults and more properties coming on the market due to foreclosure. Second, inflation numbers should start to regulate or decline with the rise of interest rates, but in the meantime, expect the cost of pretty much everything to increase if it hasn't already. With more inventory, inventory on the market, there will be opportunities out there. There will be some motivated sellers and with a balanced real estate market, you'll have the opportunity to put conditions on your offers and do your due diligence. Take advantage of this scenario. And while this all might sound a little doom and gloom, there are definitely some bright spots. Many of the supply chain issues that vendors have been dealing with are slowly being figured out as the majority of the world goes back to normal working hours. This means that the price of building materials should continue to normal as we've seen over the past few months. We're also seeing a drop in demand for home renovations as many Canadians are looking to get back to things they were doing before the world flipped upside down, such as spending money on travel and dining out. This has slowed the construction industry so more tradespeople and contractors have capacity to take on new projects and there is more competition in the marketplace. This is a good thing for us as investors. The other notable bright spot is that with the collapse of the stock market and crypto cryptocurrencies, many investors who are bullish on the stock market are again shifting their focus to real estate. If you are someone who is raising capital or looking for partners, this is a good time to be having those conversations. Real estate has always been a great hedge against inflation and when someone's stock portfolio has dropped 30 to 40% in a couple of months, real estate suddenly seems like a fantastic alternative. And let's not forget that while all of this is happening, it's our responsibility as investors to always go back to the data. Stop reading headlines and look at the numbers. Yes, interest rates are rising, but they're still at record low levels. And if your project doesn't work at interest rates of four to five percent, then you may want to look at another transaction. We're also still in a housing crisis. The amount of units that are being put on the market each year would have to double for the next eight years in order to meet the demand. That simply will not happen. So if you're in a position where you can be adding rental units to the market, you will see 
opportunity. And of course, one other item that cannot be overlooked is the fact that we are in an affordability crisis as well. As an investor, if you can figure out a way to create affordable units, there are incredible incentives through financing and government programs. And you will see very low vacancy rates in your properties, which is another huge opportunity. So while it's been a crazy ride so far in 2022, I think this is exactly what many of us have been waiting for. The data is still strong for the long-term prospects of real estate. And the panic in the marketplace is always where there's great opportunity if you know what you're doing as an investor. As promised, I wanted to share some exciting news about a relatively new program that CMHC has introduced for multifamily properties. If you're not familiar with it already, do yourself a favor and look up the new MLI Select program that CMHC has introduced. This program was created to incentivize investors to create more purpose-built rental buildings. If you meet the criteria of the new program through one of three elements, energy efficiency, affordability, or accessibility, the government will insure your loan, allowing you to put as little as 5% down, and you can amortize that loan over 50 years. There are also other benefits to the program, but that's another video for another day. If you wanna learn more about the MLI Select program, I'll leave a link in the description below. And now I'd love to hear from you. What are your predictions for the real estate market for the remainder of 2022? Leave those along with your questions for me in the comment section below. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.